goodness, I have not did my makeup in a while. My husband and I are going on a date. We go on our dates, you know, sometimes midweek or on Fridays. But today is Thursday and we're going on date night when he gets off because we have so much to do for this Friday. We have a couple of rehearsals and things like that. So we can enjoy ourselves and relax without rushing on Friday and Saturday when it's busy and all that good stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup. I don't know what I'm going to do today. So, I'm talking kind of low. I don't know why I was talking low. Anyhow, let me pull you all up closer so you can see what's going on here. Um, so far, I already have on my skincare. I cleanse my skin. I use my hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. What is it? I also use today my sunscreen from Murad. That goes on last, but let me see. I've used this today. Switched up my skincare. I use my vitamin C. I put the stuff up. Vitamin C. And I use my um, Pons moisturizer. And then lastly, I use my Murad. So not a lot of products today. Not too much. Let me put these back up. And I'm going to use this primer here by e.l.f. I have in, this is some new, I'm going to use some new and some ODs and shop my own stash. But I bought this primer from e.l.f. And I didn't, I have not used it. Ugh. Where is it at? This primer right here from e.l.f. It is the Stay Cool Primer Stick right here. <laughs> Hopefully, it doesn't dry my skin out because I do not like primers that dry your skin out. Let's take the little top off. Oh, so it pushes up. Oh, it doesn't smell like anything, so that's good. I'm just going to, and it's blue. Stay cool, so that's good. Let's put it in the area that I usually put it right here. You know, as I've gotten older, I noticed that I like to use primers. It just makes my makeup look so much better. In my opinion, just around this area, especially near the fine lines. <laughs> it just makes my makeup stay on longer, last longer, look better. And I'm also going to use an Odie But Goodie from Charlotte Tiberi. It's the Beautiful Skin Foundation in number nine. I like this when it first came out. And I said I need to start shopping my own stash and use up some of this stuff before it goes bad, okay? So, yeah, I have some Odie's But Goodies mixed in here with some new stuff. And my girl, my bestie here on YouTube, my bestie Bridget, keeping it simple with Bridget. This is some items she bought me for my birthday. I'm gonna use this lipstick here, such a cute little case. Oh my goodness, let me just show you this case. Super cute, There's little diamonds on it. Oh my goodness, so cute. It has a little lipstick in, but we'll show that later. I am so ready to use that. And this is a brush by Louis Vuitton. I said I was gonna say Louis Vuitton, but it's not. It's Louis Vuitton, like the red bottoms, right here. Oh my goodness, such a cute little makeup brush. Look at this little cute makeup brush. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I already applied it on my makeup pan, my makeup, and I'm going to apply it with my brush. I'm so psyched to use it. I'm like oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I don't even want to. So thank you, Bridget, for keeping it simple with Bridget. Let me go ahead and put her information up here so you can check her out. Keeping it simple with Bridget. She does mostly like I do. She does skincare and makeup and she and body. She's over fifty as well. So if you all love over fifty content check her channel out and tell her niecy j sent you over there go ahead and subscribe to her as well all right and girl thank you so much i'm so ready to use my products i've been waiting to use these okay <laughs> so tonight i said let me go ahead and use my little brush and my lipstick in this cute little case this is so cute oh my goodness and this is by Gerald, Geraldine, I'm going to put the name up here. I can never say that name. Anyway, let me go ahead and apply this uh, makeup on with this brush. 
I like to tap it on my skin first, the foundation. And then apply it all over. I just put a couple of pumps on here. Not a whole bunch because you guys know I love my makeup to look very light. Oh, this is a really nice, fluffy, firm type brush. And I like that. Oh, it is supplying great. I love this. If you're watching, Bridget, thank you, honey. I am loving, loving this brush. Yes. Yeah, I like this foundation. I always like this foundation from um, Charlotte Tipper. She has really great products for mature skin. So I saw this sitting in the back. Something failed. I was moving or putting something up and I saw this. I said, you know what? I don't know why I have not used this foundation in a while. So I placed it in front of me so I can use it. And that's what I said. I'm going to start doing, rotating some of this foundation. Some of these products that I have, put them in front of me. Anyway, I have my mirror right here. So I'm looking down a little bit in this mirror. So this is pretty good and you know as it gets cooler my skin tends to get a little lighter and I switch products I have my summer foundations and I have my winter foundation so that's what I think I was doing was placing some of my foundations up and getting them organized for pulling some of the winter ones out to the front <laughs> oh yeah that looks very nice and usually once I let this sit for just about a few moments after I apply it on, this is the cutest brush. I just love it, love it, love it. Anyway, I like to just let it sit for a little bit and then I take my damp beauty sponge and this is one from e.l.f. and I just tap off. Tap off the excess. This makes my foundation look really natural. I don't tap off a lot, just a little bit that's just sitting there that has not absorbed. I like to go ahead and just tap it off. It just makes your foundation and your makeup look natural. And I'm all about a natural, flawless look, you know? So, by the way, my husband loves when I wear my lashes and all of that. He likes it. So, every now and then, I will put my lashes on. I think I would try to use some lashes tonight. <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. So now let's see what I'm going to do. A basic eye look. I'm not going to do anything drastic because what I like to do, I always like to give a, sometimes we're on date night, the simplest look it's always with a pop of red lipstick. I just love my pops of red. I love red lipsticks anyway. And this is a perfect time again to wear my lipstick in this little tube. It's so cute. Oh my goodness, it's a red. It's a pretty red too. So I just had to show you. I'm super excited. This case has a little mirror in it. it has a little mirror. So it's so cute. Oh my goodness. Anyway. Let me go ahead and brush my eyebrows up. We're gonna get these started. And I don't know, for some reason, I always like to do my eyebrows after I do my foundation. It's just a thing, honey. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see, all right. And again, I'm using brown. This is one of my favorite favorite um brow pencils it's a little it's a little pricey and i have other ones but i don't know i just like this one for some reason it's by anastasia beverly hill it's the brownest brow pen and it's a brow definer and i'm in medium brown i like this one because it looks very natural i always use browns never blacks never black on me because black just make you look harsh especially as you get older 
you know, you want everything to look, uh, you know, real soft. You're not really trying to make anything look too harsh on our skin, especially as we age, you know. It's amazing. Aging and in your mind, you kind of, you still feel the same, you know, even though your body is aging. It's amazing how you, your spirit, your, just your being, just still feels young. You know, I mean, with these aches and pains sometimes, <laughs> body stiffens up, you know, you sit down. I'm like, what in the world? But in my mind, I still feel like that little young 20-some-year-old woman that, you know, just got out of high school, college, you know, still in college, can still do the same things. Maybe that woman that's in the 30s, you know. It's amazing how you... I don't know. I still feel like that same young person. It's amazing. But you know you're getting older because your body will let you know, honey. So anyway, now with this, let's see. I think I am going to use just a brown out of this since I'm using Charlotte Tilbury. I really don't want to use anything. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to use this Makeup Forever artist to go my little mini palette I, I love this little palette it's the little shades of browns and this is perfect it's more like a that's what I'm going to use today but before I do let me go ahead and do my my eyes I'm taking a little bit of this concealer by NYX I love this concealer it is the bear with me concealer serve and I'm going to use it under my eye and on my eye let me clean this. I'm just, mm. let me go ahead and clean this up first. I'm just talking and just all over the place today. I haven't done this in a while, done my makeup. This is my Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Stick. I call it a brow, my, what is it called? my pro pencil and it just helps me to clean up my brows really fast i am all about quickness i don't like to spend a lot of time on my brows which they are important but you know i don't take all that much time ever since i learned and you guys hear me say this all the time your eyebrows are sisters they're not twins you're never going to get them exactly alike and that is, you know, when I was working on the counter, I always tell my little story. For the newcomers, you know, that's here. I was working on Estee Lauder. I was, yeah, that was the counter. Estee Lauder counter. Um, I was the counter manager. And one of the girls, she, she was an older lady. She said, why are you taking all this time on your brows? And I said, I'm trying to get them to look alike. You know, I'm trying to get them to look alike. She said, honey, they're sisters, not twins. You're never going to get them alike. That really made me think like, wow, what a great analogy. They're sisters, they're not twins. And really, since then, I haven't really, I take my time, but I, I I don't do like I used to. Honey, I used to take, it seemed like almost 30 minutes to an hour just really making sure they were exactly alike. or And they still wasn't exactly alike. So that revelation, I really needed to hear, like, really need to hear <laughs> so again I'm go ahead and use where's that brush uh, I'm going to just use my um, NYX concealer serum I really like this a lot just apply it on to my lids it's like a eyeshadow primer just to get it ready for this eyeshadow color up just cover up any kind of discoloration on these lids. Get it prepped because I have hooded eyes and discoloration a little bit. And sometimes with the wrong eyeshadow, it can look like it's really a wrinkle <laughs> on these lids, honey. So I'm really cautious. I like to go ahead and get these primed up. And I really, I don't know, for some reason, I do not like to use the eye primers. I don't know. I don't like how it looks on my eyes or feel, I guess, on my eyes. That's really what it is. I really don't like how it feels. So, 
I like to use concealer to cover up everything, any kind of discolorations. I could just use the concealer. It works just as good, in my opinion. And if I really want to use like a primer, I use a little bit of the face primer if I have an issue. So anyway, with the Makeup Forever palette, and this is the Artist to Go, everything that I use, if I don't talk about it, I will link it in the descriptions below. I'm going to use this middle shade right here, this middle one, some kind of brown. Let me see what that says. Put my glasses here. Oh. Uh, that shade, it says lead. Okay. Lead. L-E-A-D. And I'm just going to apply this all over the lid. I'm not really doing a heavy eyeshadow look. Because again, I just really want to bring some color back to my lids. Because I'm telling you foundations will wash your complexion completely out concealers foundation it'll just wash everything out so i'm using like a bronzer or like a brown you know what maybe i deepen it up a little bit with this <laughs> i say i'm not doing too much but then i go in and do deepen it up with this shade right here's a deeper brown right there and just deepen up the outer corners that is it i can do that just gives it a little bit of something. Making sure I blend well. I'm just going to bring whatever I have into the crease. I was just looking at some of my... Um, Skincare. I'm like, oh, I need to get some more hyaluronic acid. I need to get some more vitamin C. And I need to do that while this sale is on. <laughs> this is the perfect time to do this. Like, what am I waiting for? Now what I'm going to do is just take my liquid liner. I love to use this liquid liner right over my lid, right on the lash line as close as I can. I can get it to the lash line. Close as I can get it. Now, I'm gonna take my favorite. These are some of my favorite, favorite liners. I have them in different colors. Green, and, oh my goodness. They have them in green and blue and brown. But I'm going to take, where's my black one? I have my brown one and let's take this black one out. You know what? I have this black liner. It is waterproof. It's like a gel. And I love to apply it up under my lashes. It just makes your lashes look a little thicker. Lashes right here, and these are the Demi Wispy lashes. And I'm trying to think of where I got these from, I'll find it in, like I said, put them in the description box below. But in most brands, I always use the Demi Wispy, they're just my favorite. I like how natural they look. Go ahead and do these off camera and be right back. I'm adding the glue now, okay? So, lashes are complete. And again, these are Demi Wispy from someplace. <laughs> anyway, I will find it. I know it when I see it. I love these eyeliners. I think I'm going to use the green one for my lash, bottom lash line. I love the way 
this actually looks on the lash line. So, they're gel, they're waterproof. I love it. I think I'm going to use, yeah, this one and the brown. So, yeah, I'm going to use the green. I haven't done this in a while. I used to do stuff like this all the time. But let's see. Let's apply this green. And I'm very careful of pulling anything down. Oh, that's really pretty. I kind of pull it down very lightly. You don't want to pull anything too much down. You want everything lifted. So I may just take my hand and hold it, you know, and hold this eye area because I'm putting it in my waterline or very close to it anyway. Oh, that is very, very pretty. I forgot to tell you the name. These are from Revant, R-E-V-A-N-T, and they are gel liners. I love these. I love them, love them a lot because they are gel. They do not just spread everywhere and make you look like a raccoon. So I've been wearing my brown ones lately under my eyes. Again, I never wear black anymore, like browns, maybe a color or something like that. I do, but never, never black anymore. And black was my baby, honey. I used to love some black eyeliner under my eyes. But now, something really soft, a blue or a brown, a green, something like this, you know. And then what I'm going to do is take the same um, eyeshadow. I'm just going to take it off a little bit. With the brown and just I'm gonna smoke it out. Like blow it out a little bit with the brown and the green. I think that's really pretty. Just using that same eyeshadow brush that I used earlier. I really do love these gel eyeliners. They're just like really great. I haven't used really good eyeliners in a while, like something that I really like. And so yeah, I would put these in the description box below with the link and I think I have a code that will give you a percentage off I, forgot, I think yeah anyway I will link them in the description box so you can just click on it and let's see I'm going to take a little bit of my concealer and place like a few little dots not much because I do not bake in any of that stuff this is one of my favorite um, concealer brushes. It is by Angie Hot and Flashy by BK Beauty. This is one of my favorite ones. I like the way it just goes in and just applies any kind of concealer that you have evenly and very lightly. I love this brush. And I never take concealer all the way up anyway. Like I don't go all the way up to my eyes because sometimes it can cause creasing anything that you put too much of in this area. Which can just make you look like you have wrinkles and I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> and I don't go too bright under my eyes either, you know. Sometimes that can make you look a little old. I'm just going to take a little bit right there and in my forehead. And I'm a cheek, chin, not cheek, chin area, right up in these areas. All right, and I'm gonna put a little bit of powder on this now. Where's my little brush? This is one of my favorite BK Beauty brushes too. It's a brush. It's like a, a sponge and a brush all together. <laughs> and I love it. I'm gonna use my Hourglass Setting Powder, one of my favorite. And it looks like I've almost hit pan a little bit, but I still can go without picking up some more there <laughs> because Hourglass products are expensive, honey. But I do have a couple of Hourglass products that I can use the setting powder in there so I'm not pressed. 
for that. So I just want to place that right up under the eye very, very lightly. Very lightly. You see, I, I hit this all the time just to make sure I dust it off well. I don't want a whole bunch of powder under my eyes. All right. But this brush is so wonderful. It is the BK Beauty, the 110 brush. Love this, love this, love it. It's such a really nice powder sponge type brush. You can also use this brush to apply concealer as well. And again, I like to round my eyes. I don't like it straight. I like my eyeshadow or whatever I do to kind of round to my eye. Okay, I like that. So far, so good. All right, so now let's go ahead and since I still look a little washed out, I want to use some bronzer. I think I'm going to use my cream bronzer. Again, I'm makeup forever, just like I use my makeup forever eyeshadow. I'm going to use my makeup forever palette. I love this palette. This palette has everything in it. Everything. I usually take it with me if I'm going on trips because I can do my whole makeup just with this. It has like the contours. It has the highlights and blush and everything. So, yeah. I'm gonna use that today. This is my favorite, one of my favorite. And I am just using the entire deeper side right here, just dipping my brush into it. Lately, I like the way this looks. It's not too much, it's just all together, trying to give warms my skin up. And it's not too much, I just, I like that so much. And I'm using cream products more lately because I'm loving how my skin looks and feels. As you age, you know, your skin gets drier. I know mine has. <laughs> and cream products, especially during the cooler months, just work well. I just, I love it. Just contouring a little bit this face. Blend this little spot in. And I'm taking what I have left and just contouring my nose a little bit. Just a little bit. Not doing a lot of contour. It's just really quick, easy. Just bringing back some life to my complexion. This look, you can use natural like a new lipstick, but I want to wear my red today. I'm going to pair my red lipstick from, what is it called? I think it's called Geraldine. Geraldine? What is the name of that? Yeah, Geraldine. Paris Geraldine. This product is so expensive. Thank you so much, Bridget. She's so sweet. I'm going to line my lip with this liner. I've had this for so long. The name is scratched off. It's from MAC. I don't know the name, but it's a pretty deep kind of berry type that always looks so pretty with red lipsticks. I love it. It's one of my favorite liners to go to wear with red lipsticks. And now here it is, this is so cute. So you pop it open like this. It's so bling bling. Ooh, if I could, let's see, I just did it. Oh, you have to, you have to push it like down. So bling bling, and then the little mirror comes open. So you can actually, if I'm somewhere, I can put this in my pocketbook and apply my lipstick on. So I'm waiting to wear this. Look at that, such a pretty red shade, oh my goodness. What's this shade? Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? 
because I was so anxious to use this. <laughs> Let me go and add a little bit of blush to my face. I think I'm gonna use the one that's already in here. I'm gonna use this one right here. A little bit of, yeah, that was, is it showing up a little bit? Just a little bit of blush. I don't want to use too much because I don't want my face to look too red. I just really want more of the um, bronzy, more tight look. And I'm going to take the highlight that's in here. I'm just going to use my hand with this highlight right here and apply because it's so natural looking. I really like that. Apply right here, cheek area. Now I'm going to take my setting powder from Hourglass. I love this setting powder. One of my favorite. Tap it off a little bit, you know. And I like to, I'm putting this over the cream highlight because it shines through anyway. I know I love this cream highlighter. One of my favorite setting sprays, and this is from Tear Tear. Um, I did a review on the makeup itself, but I love this. Oh my goodness. So this is the final look. All right. So that is all I have for you today. If you like these type of videos, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel on the way out if you haven't done so already. And thank you so very much for taking time out to watch this video. I greatly appreciate it. Peace and love until next time. Bye.